Hey guys, Jono here from Fola, and today we're just gonna be going through the Blue Mat automated watering system. I'm gonna show you a little bit how it works, how to set it up, how to leave it, and just let it do its thing. So these little Blue Mat systems are great. Um, I use them when I go away for holiday, and I don't really trust anyone else watering my plants because you know, only I know how to do them exactly. So I use one of these guys, super easy, super simple. We'll jump straight into how we set them up and how to get them working. So to start off, we have the plant that we're gonna be adding the system to. This is a philodendron imperial green, with beautiful foliage. We then have the reservoir, which is gonna be filled with water, and we're gonna have the pipe drawing from that to keep filling up the terracotta cone. We have the terracotta cone, which has been soaking and he's ready to go. I'm just gonna leave him in the water because that's gonna make sure that we don't get any air bubbles inside the whole system when we're making it. So we're gonna start off by filling up your reservoir with however much water you want. Um, the reservoir can be as big or as small as you want it to. It just depends on how long you're going away for or how long you need it to be drawing water for. Then we're going to take our piece of pipe, which is going to attach to the cone, and we want to put the one side, it's got a little weight on the end to hold it under the water. We want to put that inside the water and kind of twirl this around a little bit just to make sure that it stays there. We don't ever want the water going below that pipe, otherwise it's going to break the seal and we'll have to redo the system again. Now this is the important part, so pay attention. What we're going to do now is assemble this underwater and make the seal underwater. Guy, assemble him like that and just gently shove it on the top there. Now what I like to do is do that a couple of times because that forces all the air bubbles out the other side. So I'm just going to do that again. And you can see every time I do it, there's some bubbles coming out. It's really good to, to do that quite a few times just to ensure that we've got all the bubbles. And I think I do. Once that's assembled, um, it's very important to keep that other piece of the pipe inside the water just to make sure there's no bubbles. We don't want bubbles with this guy. Ready to go, you can turn it upside down, kind of check if there's any bubbles in there. It should be completely filled with water. Now once you have your blue mat system ready to go, you can select your plant. Um, choose a nice place, close to the root system, but also not like breaking the roots, not being forceful with that. And you're gonna take your terracotta cone and gently push it down into the soil until it's covered about halfway of that clear reservoir there. So you press the soil down around it to make, it, make sure there's a good connection with the soil and the cone. And that's pretty much it. Always make sure to do a trial run after about one week just to see if the blue mat system is working properly. If it's working properly, you should see the water level go down fairly significantly depending on how dry the plant is. And if it doesn't move at all, then you know that there's a problem there and you probably haven't made that seal properly.